Hey, I'm Christy Friesen, and thanks for coming here to Fire Mountain Gems and Beads Jewelry Making Studio. We are going to make a very impressive project today. It's called the Impress Me Butterfly because we're using stamps to impress a pattern on polymer clay. Doesn't that sound like fun? If you're new to polymer clay, don't even worry about it. We got a beginner's video that tells you all the basics, everything you need to know about clay right here on FireMountainGem.com. So go take a look at that first, take a look at that video, get all the details, then come on back and make a butterfly with me. If you already know all that stuff, let's just make a butterfly, shall we? All right, we're going to use polymer clay for this. I'm using Primo Clay. It's my favorite brand. It's a wonderful sculpting brand. It takes stamp impressions really well. But if you have a favorite clay and you prefer using that, totally fine. This will work with all polymer clays. All right, all I'm doing is getting a little bit of clay for wings. You're going to need four wings for the butterfly. And I just mix a color that I like. I'm using straight white, so the mixing was rather easy. And I'm just rolling it into a little ball. You need four balls for four wings and the top two wings can be just a little bit bigger than the bottom two. I'm using about the size of a big green pea as my kind of standard for the bottom wing and a little bit bigger for the top. Now we're going to turn this into a teardrop by just kind of pressing on the edge there and see how that just turns right into a teardrop and then flatten it with your fingers. Because you're putting fingerprints all over the clay, this clay will have a very natural look. So don't even worry about it. Don't try to get it all shiny and smooth. Use the fingerprints. They're perfect. Okay, so to add an impression on here, we're going to use a stamp sheet. Now, I've used this one already before, so you can see that there's a lot of shininess on here. That's where I've used mica powder as a resist. Resist is something that you have to put on top of a stamp because a stamp's made out of rubber, and if I just press the clay on it, it's going to want to kind of grab and leave little bits of the clay behind, which will make your design not look as pretty. So you use a resist, and one of the resists is mica powder, and that also happens to leave a lovely pattern. Mica powder is fantastic. If you're not already using that in your polymer clay, rush right out and get a bunch because it's fantastic stuff, great fun. I've got the lid of the mica powder here. And I'm just going to tap my finger in it. So see, I've got just a little bit on the surface of my finger. And then I can rub that gently on the top of the pattern. You don't want to rub too hard because if you do, that's going to like push it down into the in-between spaces and you won't have a, as crisp of a pattern. If that happens, just blow away the excess. Maybe use a little wet wipe to get rid of that and start again. All right, I'm going to take my wing and I'm going to just push it gently down. And look at that. It's impressed the pattern. And because there's mica powder already on it, it's impressed a design as well. All right, so now I've got a bottom wing and another bottom wing. I did that when you weren't looking. And some top wings. We practically are already there for a butterfly. Okay, so these butterfly wings, what I like to do is I want to make sure that the bottom wing is connected before I even get started to the top wing because that makes it just a little bit more stable, all right? So they're ready to go, but I'm not connecting them in the middle yet because we got to make the body, right? The body is just, put those out of the way, the body is just kind of a little slug. It's like a very fat snake or a slug. And I rolled it out of some color, whoa, head pins. Rolled it out of one color that'll go with these, all right? And I'm going to take just a tool and roll it back and forth in the neck area so that we have a little ridge there, all right? And we'll get to the head pins in a minute, so don't worry. I got people to clean that up, so pff, I don't care. I'm going to just use my fingers to kind of roll back and forth right in that neck area. And you see that? So we've got a little bobbly head right there. There's his neck, there's his body. Sometimes it makes the body a little squishy, so if you need to pull it out a little bit, you just kind of roll and pull with your fingers, and it should be just fine. Then any kind of a little tool can just roll back and forth over the ridge of the bottom, and make little indentations there. That's a very insecty butterfly thing. All right, so the head is there. We're going to put a little bit of eyeballs on the head before we start, because it's easier to do it now. Rolling out a couple little balls of clay. Dark color is better. Uh, it's just a bug thing. They have dark eyes usually, not always, but usually. And I'm going to press them on both sides. I make them more towards the side than to the top of the face. And see how I'm just kind of gently pressing them? And I've pressed it onto the surface of my my table so it'll stay put. Now I can bring my wings and just press them on. Boop, boop. <laughs> Those head pins want to be part of the fun, don't they? All right, so we've got that pressed on. We're going to make them go over here. Be away, be away. All right, so we've got that. Now, see how ugly it looks right there? Because we basically just smashed everything on there. If you get another little bit of clay, I can put that right over the top and hide that. But we might as well just add a little impression on it so that it's got some fun to it. So let's do that right there. Now, if I press that on with my fingertips, 
it's going to mush the design a little bit, which is not a biggie. But if you've got a little bit of liquid clay, you can push a little dab of that right on and then put your clay on top. Liquid clay is just a super saturated, clear polymer. All of the brands of clay will have their own liquid clay and they all inter intermix with each other. So whatever liquid clay you have is going to work just fine. Okay, so far so good, right? Now we're going to play with those head pins. So I'm going to go over here and find a couple of head pins. And I could just press them right in. And I think these are really long head pins, which is terrific. I kind of like them long like that. If you prefer them um, shorter, just use your uh, wire cutters or pliers and trim them. And I've bent them just a little because that's more fun. And I'm going to press them in. They kind of go right in the forehead area. So if I'm the butterfly and here's my eyes, the antenna are going to come out just right up here in the forehead area. Also, I'm just sticking them in because after it's baked, I could see if they're loose pull them out, put a little drop of super glue or jewelry glue like E6000 on the tip and put it back in. Or there's another lovely little product. This is uh, Lisa Pavelka's Polybonder glue. It's made especially for polymer and you can put a little dab of that on the tip while you insert it into the clay and then it will glue itself in right now and it'll stay attached in the oven. Most glues don't like the heat. They become brittle in the heat, but this one likes it so you can use it for that. All right, so now the only thing we need left on this is to make just some little holes so that we can hang it up later. Any kind of a pointed tool will let you just make an indentation and a hole all the way in at the tip, and then you can hang it from that later. So if you forget a little handheld drill, choo -choo -choo, done. Polymer clay, once it's baked, you can drill into it no problem. Okay, so now we have our happy, cute little butterfly. Isn't that fun? And you know what else is really fun is that this is a very simple beginner project, right? But everything you need to make this project, you can get right here. You can get the clay, the head pins. They may or may not wander in and out of your work surface like that. That's an extra feature. But you can get head pins, tools, polymer clay, mica powder, all the things you need, including additional videos and other projects to make, some books that you probably will have a great fun time going through and finding other things to create out of polymer clay and stamps. They're all right here at firemountaingems.com. So I hope you'll have fun with this. Make a bunch. We do have some social media. Firemountaingems.com uh, has a Facebook page. There's Pinterest boards. Make some butterflies. Go share them. Post them online. Tell all the folks what fun you had. And then we'll meet you right back here. We'll make some more fun polymer clay stuff. Thanks.